those guys that love quinoa have you ever wanted to make a quinoa dish that just tasted good looked good and you know was an all-around good dish but you have no idea how to go about it well i have some ideas this is garlic and mushroom quinoa and cooked chicken from yesterday this is leftovers and i've recycled it so guys before we continue please make sure you subscribe like share and hit the notification button so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video and then sit back and watch how I create this meal. I promise you, it tastes really, really good. ingredients guys look at how fresh they look oh I love me colors I love me colors oh it looks amazing like I said I'm making mushroom and garlic quinoa and the three ingredients you definitely need are mushrooms about 500 gram a cup of quinoa and garlic I have about five garlic cloves and then I like to add some things to it like vegetables because they're healthy and we also need some lime measure the ingredients as we go now we'll also write them down for you and put them on the description bar our pan is hot I'm going to add some olive oil let it heat up a little bit then we are going to add 500 grams of mushrooms i only have the chestnut mushrooms and the white mushrooms the button mushrooms it looks like a lot but it will cook down a little bit Add some salt, that will speed up the process at which water is retracted from the mushrooms. Just keep stirring so that they don't burn, okay? Look at all that water. That needs to dry up completely. I'm going to add half an onion and also our garlic. It's a garlic and mushroom quinoa. You need to taste the garlic, people. You need to taste the garlic. And don't kiss anyone after this, unless it's both of you garlicky people kissing each other. And then continue cooking this until all this water dries up. You can start to hear the sizzle, that means it's drying up and that is what we want people. This is the stage I'm going to add my spices and my herbs. I'm doing two bay leaves. I'm doing a bouquet. I can also do like a bouquet garni of the bay leaves and the thyme but I'm doing them separately. No idea why. And I'm also going to add two maggi cubes. About one teaspoon of vegetable stock powder. It's low in sodium, that's why we love this one. Give that a good stir. When I get to this point, this is very optional. This is something that I had at home. It is a type of French beans, I think. I have absolutely no idea what it's called in English. I will have to Google it and this is how long it is. You can see, it's called Kausebans in Dutch. Then in goes our quinoa, the zest of one lemon, give it a stir, and then add some chili flakes, oh we love our chilies. Then two cups of water, I'm doing one cup of quinoa and two cups of water. Then what you want to do is bring this to a boil, reduce the heat and simmer until it's done. You cook this like the way you cook rice. And 
then this is where we are going to make our chicken let's start by adding some olive oil to our pan about a tablespoon and then I'm going to add that half onion that was left over the other half is in the quinoa some salt I'm doing leftovers and then we're going to cut the chicken into pieces and this I'm going to keep whole this is the chicken wing we're then going to add the leftover garlic I think it's about one clove in goes our chicken add some salt, a bit of chili flakes. If you can find Sazan Goya, this is how it looks like, then please go ahead and use half a sachet. If you can't, then use a magic cube. I love Sazan Goya people. This is how you can recycle leftover meats, especially if it was grilled. I also have some leftover mushrooms from yesterday. I'm going to add them in there. And then coriander. Lots of coriander. And lots of spring onions. Look at this. Doesn't this look beautiful, y'all? And I kind of feel like it needs a little bit of lemon juice. Our chicken is done. Let's swap. I'm going to add my leftover quinoa from yesterday. Then my veggies. I'm going with yellow and red capsicum or ho ho. And also some soya beans, aka endomame. Some spring onions here's the thyme I'm going to remove it because right now it is adding nothing to my food you can also see the bay leaf I had two bay leaves they're floating so fabulously on top let's remove them My God, this is absolutely delightful. Oh, I'm getting excited. Some coriander and some spring onions, then a dash of chili flakes, and then just place my lemon slice in there and we're done people just look at this beauty let you know how it tastes like it smells amazing oh lord oh lord be amazing i hope you get to try it and if you do let me know on the comment section how it tasted Thank you so very much for watching. This has been your girl Sauce Comfort showing you how to make yet another quinoa dish. Yes, it's pronounced quinoa. And before I go, please subscribe, like, share any videos that you like sharing. Hit the notification button so that you get notified anytime I upload new videos. And do not forget to leave love, love, guys, and enjoy good food. I'll see you on another video. Ciao, ciao.